Dear viewers, greetings. This present video is about affinity chromatography. In this video, we are going to discuss the following topics. First, introduction about affinity chromatography, followed by components of affinity chromatography, principles of affinity chromatography, types of media used in affinity chromatography, steps in affinity chromatography, weak affinity chromatography, applications of affinity chromatography, advantages of affinity chromatography, and finally, limitations of affinity chromatography. First, affinity chromatography. Affinity chromatography is a type of chromatography in which a macromolecule such as protein is isolated and purified by passing it in the solution through a column treated with a substance having a ligand for which the macromolecule has an affinity that causes it to be retained on the column. Affinity chromatography is a liquid chromatographic technique and it is widely used for purifying or separating biochemical mixtures based on its uh, highly specific interaction between two substances. For example, antigen and antibody, enzyme and substrates or receptors and ligand. Affinity chromatography was discovered by Pedro Cutercas and Mayer Welchek in the year 1968. In recent years, affinity chromatography technique has become increasingly important in defining the target proteins of a compound and understanding its mechanism of action. Components of affinity chromatography. There are three components of affinity chromatography. They are matrix, space arm and ligand. The first component of the affinity chromatography is matrix. Matrix is an inert support to which a ligand can be directly or indirectly coupled. In order to for the matrix to be effective, it must have certain characters. It includes matrix should be chemically and physically inert. Matrix must be insoluble in solvents and buffers which are employed in the process. Matrix must be chemically and mechanically stable. Matrix must be easily coupled to a ligand or spacer arm onto which the ligand can be attached. Matrix must exhibit good flow properties and have a relatively large surface area for attachment. The most useful matrix material are agarose and polyacrylamide. The second component of the affinity chromatography is spacer arm. Spacer arm is used to improve the binding between the ligand and target molecule by overcoming any effects of steric hindrance. The third component of affinity chromatography is ligand. Ligand refers to the molecule that binds reversibly to a specific target molecule. The ligand can be selected only after the nature of the mac macromolecule to be isolated is known. When a hormone receptor protein is to be purified by affinity chromatography, the hormone itself is an ideal candidate for the ligand. For antibody isolation, an antigen or hapten may be used as ligand. If an enzyme is to be purified, a substrate analog, inhibitor, cofactor or effector may be used as the immobilized ligand. Principle of Affinity Chromatography The stationary phase consists of a support medium on which the substrate or ligand is bound covalently in such a way that the reactive groups that are essential for binding of the target molecules are exposed. As the crude mixture of substances is passed through the chromatographic column, substances with binding site for the immobilized substrate bind to the stationary phase while all the substrates are eluted in the wide volume of the column. Once the other substances are eluted, the bound target molecule can be eluted by means such as including a competing ligand in the mobile phase or changing the pH, ionic strength or polarity conditions. Types of affinity media used in affinity chromatography. A variety of affinity media are available 
to serve a range of applications. They are activated or functionalized that works as functional spacer, support matrix and eliminates handling of toxic reagents. The first media is amino acid media. Amino acid media is used in conjunction with a variety of proteins from serum enzyme and peptides in addition to double stranded DNA and ribosomal RNA. The second media is avitin biotin media. Avidin biotin media is used to purify the process of biotin or avidin and their derivatives. The third medium is carbohydrate bonding media. Carbohydrate bonding is most often used with glycoproteins or any other carbohydrate containing substances. A carbohydrate is used with lectins, glycoproteins or any other carbohydrate metabolic protein. The fourth media is Diligan media. The Diligan media is non-specific. However, it mimics biological substrates as well as proteins. The fifth media is hydrophobic interaction media. Hydrophobic interaction media are frequently employed to attack free carboxyl groups and proteins. And the sixth media is immunoaffinity media. Immunoaffinity media uses antigens as well as antibodies that have high specificity to differentiate immobilized metal affinity chromatography. It uses interaction between proteins and metal ions to separate nucleotide or coenzyme which helps to separate dehydrogenases, kinases and transaminases. The final media is specialty media. Specialty media is made for specific classes or types of coenzymes. This kind of media can only function to isolate a particular type of protein or coenzyme. The steps in affinity chromatography. There are three steps in affinity chromatography. The first step is preparation of column. The second step is loading of samples. And the third step is elution of ligand molecule complex. Step one is preparation of column. The column is loaded with solid support such as sephirose, agarose or cellulose. Ligand is selected according to the desired isolate. Spacer arm is attached between the ligand and solid support. The second step is loading of sample. Solution containing a mixture of substances is poured into the elution column and allowed to run at a controlled rate. The third step is elution of ligand molecule complex. Target substance is recovered by changing conditions to favor elution of the bound molecules. Weak affinity chromatography. Weak affinity chromatography is an affinity chromatography technique used for testing affinity for drug development. Weak affinity chromatography is an affinity based technique for liquid chromatography which separates chemical compounds according to their weak affinities with the immobilized object. The greater affinity a compound has with the target, the longer it will remain within the separator and this is measured as a longer retention time. The measurement of affinity and rank of affinity are accomplished by processing the retention times of the compounds being studied. Affinity chromatography is a part of a wider set of chemoproteomics techniques for the purpose of identifying drug targets. The weak affinity chromatography has been demonstrated against various protein targets including proteases, chaperones, kinases along with protein-protein interaction specific targets. Weak affinity chromatography has been proven to be more efficient than traditional methods for screening which is based on the fragments. Applications of affinity chromatography. Affinity chromatography is used to isolate and purify all biological macromolecules. Affinity chromatography is used to purify nucleic acids, antibodies and enzymes. Affinity chromatography is used to determine which compounds in the biological world 
are bound to a specific substance. Affinity chromatography is used to decrease the amount of substance present in a mix. Affinity chromatography is utilized for genetic engineering for the purification of nucleic acids. Affinity chromatography is utilized for the production of vaccines and antibody purification from blood serum. Affinity chromatography is used for basic metabolic research such as the purification of enzymes or proteins from cell-free extracts. Finally, affinity chromatography also serves to get rid of particular contaminants like benzamidine. Advantages of affinity chromatography The advantages of affinity chromatography includes extremely high specificity, Target molecules can be obtained in a highly pure state, single step purification, highly reproducible, the matrix can be reused rapidly, the matrix is a solid and can be easily cleaned or washed and dried. It provides purified product with high yield and finally affinity chromatography can also be used to remove specific contaminants such as proteases. The limitations of affinity chromatography are time consuming method, more amount of solvents are required which may be expensive, intense labor, non-specific absorption cannot be totally eliminated, it can only be minimized, limited availability and high cost of immobilized ligands and finally proteins get denatured if required pH is not adjusted. Dear viewers, that's all about the affinity chromatography. Thank you for your support. Thank you.